hello guys and thank you for watching uh, my channel um, I thought I would just do a quick video on an eye look that um, I'm really into at the moment um, as you can see the rest of my face is done already in a previous video which will be up um, quite soon hopefully already um, but I just wanted to do my eyes and I wanted to try, try out my new set of brushes from Real Techniques I'm really excited to try these they are genuine brushes, but I bought them from eBay, I think, for about £4. Um, and they are completely genuine. The packaging's genuine. I've had a look against other Real Technic products that I've bought um, from Superdrug, and they, they're they identical, basically. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. It's a proper, brilliant buy for me. But I'm looking forward to trying these out, um, and I'm going to be showing you this new eye look. So if you want to look, um, if you want to see my new eye look that I really love at the moment, then keep watching. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to be using the Pro Stream Pro Stream. I'm at it again. The Pro Strobe Cream Palette from Freedom. Um, no, I'm not. I'm actually going to be doing something completely different. I'm actually. I tell you, it's been one of them days today. Sophia was a little monkey this morning um, to get her dressed and everything and it kind of puts you in that frame of mind for the rest of the, of the day, do you know what I mean? So anyway, Pro Highlight Palette from Freedom, which is stunning. I really love this. This sat in my makeup box for Zonks and I was thinking, well, do you know what? The highlights, I'm not so sure that I would wear them on my cheeks. I'm not so sure that, um, that they're for me um but then i saw um a video by pixie woo where sam actually used a sleek palette which was similar to this but not quite not dead on and i thought well, do you know what that got me thinking that i could use this for my eyes instead so i hate to say it sorry sam sorry nick i have used some of what um you've put on there um, but I've created my own eye look for this. So here we have this beautiful pink, rosy pink highlighter cream. So I'm just going to put that across my eye. This is lovely because I find that, I've already got primer on by the way, I find that with this look, with using the cream on my eyes, that I don't look quite so wrinkly at the end if i just use um ordinary eyeshadows because my eyes are like crepe paper i think is the only way i can really sort of describe it at the end of every look they don't look smooth and shiny they look like a waffle is the only way i can describe it a very very small waffle stuck on my eyelid all these lines crisscross lines but I've found that by applying this as a base, I don't get that at all. Okay, so you can see that's my base and it's given me a slight highlight. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this color over here just to highlight a little bit more in my corners and just blend that in. So already you can see an effect. I haven't used the right white one because if I think if I used the right white one, it would be very, very blingy. I don't want to look blingy. I want to look as natural as I possibly can. Let's see a little bit more. Now I absolutely adore this look. I, I just think it, it's lovely. Um, I also love these powders as well, these baked ones, they're fabulous. Um, but if I show you the blingy one, this is really white and really, really shiny. Let's see, just see if I can get this to focus. Can you see how sparkly that is? That is really, really sparkly. I'll just watch that so you can see. It's gorgeous, but it's not what... I'm after for this look okay so I've done that and what I want to do is I want to set that in place and oh, 
this is lovely. I'm going to be using the peachy highlight colour down here just to set that. So this is the deluxe crease brush. So just dip it in. If you can see the sparkle already on there, it's really, really pretty. Now, the products that the Chapman Girls use, by the way, the Chapman Girls Pixie Woo, please, please go and look at their channel. Pixie Woo are amazing. They are Norfolk girls, um, the same as me, nah, rich girl. Um, so it's always nice to support local people. Lo we local, only local people. Um, but they used, um, they used a sleek palette, the Solstice palette, which isn't unlike this. There we go, that's the look I'm after. This really shiny look. And this brush is lovely. Okay, so you can see that is as that is. Um the next one I'm gonna use, and I actually this is the same as what they used, which is the Rimmel Millionaire um solo eyeshadow which is really really pretty um it's a really really lovely color and i've used this a lot but you can see it, it doesn't look it so i'm going to use my brush which is the um it's a base shadow brush i'm using them the wrong way around but and then i'm just going to put that in the outer corner of my eye in my outer crease this is such a lovely color it's so subtle Now I'm not doing this look exactly the same as what the girls did because I want it to have some individuality on it, I wanted it to suit me. such a lovely pretty sort of like a it's almost like cocoa sort of colour not chocolate as such but cocoa sort of like when you have cocoa in a um, in a pot like hot chocolate so I'm just going to blend that in blend it out should I say so you just use a very very soft brush blend as you can see very very subtle because I don't want to look like my eyes are really made up to the hilt um, I'm not confident enough in myself to have my eyes like that okay so that's blended through so I'm just gonna Put some more on. Who called me a moron? <laughs> Just to darken that up in that outer corner. That's really lovely. I really like that colour. I never, I, I've not always been keen on Rimmel, if I'm 100% honest. But lately, I've, um, I've really got into them. I mean, like their, their Wake Me Up foundation that I use virtually every day. Now their eyeshadows. I'm now using the mascara of theirs as well. I'm pretty impressed, if I'm honest. It's not like how I remember it from years ago, where it wasn't very good when it was rubbish. 
Um, okay, so that's what I've got at the moment. I'm just gonna um, line my eyes, my eyebrows. I don't use a heavy liner. Um, I don't do the winged look. And there is a reason why I don't have a winged look. A winged look. It's because my eye droop down really badly at the end. So to get that is really, really difficult. So I just think, I'm not gonna bother. I can do it on other people, but I can't do it on me. Um, I look absolutely ridiculous. So my thought is, don't bother. You do other things to make your eyes look nice. Okay, this, this really does need sharpening. This is my MUA eyebrow pencil. I'm literally just filling in the gaps. Again, because of my age, I don't want too heavy eyebrows. I want to look, I don't want to look like I'm a teeny bopper or trying to be a teeny, I don't know, what's the word? I don't want to be mutton dressed as lamb. Although you're probably thinking, well I am really because I'm wearing makeup, but I wear makeup for me. Um, to give me a confidence boost to make me feel good about myself and it takes a lot for me to feel good about myself so if I can have a little bit of help in hand from a bit of makeup then so be it now this, oh my goodness, this I absolutely love this this is the um, Scandalize Rimmel Waterproof Coal Stick and oh, it's just great it really does stay and it's also brilliant because if you line your eyes, I sometimes find that an eyeliner doesn't like to stay. It, it's very difficult to get it to actually be seen. You see how it tra transforms, like, the, the difference. So just do this side as well. Totally different. I'm just going to do my um, upper waterline. I don't do the full eye, I do from halfway across to my outer eye. There, I like that. And then I just literally just do a little bit in the corner just to make my make them meet up just a tiny amount and because it is waterproof and it really is waterproof it's not saying it's waterproof and it's not it really is waterproof it does really really work um okay so i'm just going to put a little bit more color on my lids now that i've got my eyeliner on um, now I'm a real pinky girl at the moment. I absolutely love my pinks and my brownie pinks. Um, and I've got an MUA um, trio, which is really, really pretty. Um, it's called Pink Sorbet. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put this darker pink color. I'll just put that, pack that on my eye there. How pretty is that? Don't even see. really pretty okay and then I'm just going to use this brownie colour here just to darken the corners of my eyes just to give that a little bit of depth
just blend that out. Ta -da! Okay, and then what I'm going to do um, is use this soft pink up here, very, very small amount, and just literally do under my brow. I'm talking about the smallest amount, just a smidgen, just to reflect that light away. Bingo. Okay, I must catch up on EastEnders today because I was babysitting for a friend last night. Um, and I didn't watch any telly and normally on a Thursday night I really love watching really um, because it's like their lockdown Thursday so it's all ghosties and stuff and I really really like that um, but I missed all of it last night but I want to watch EastEnders because Monday night Peggy Mitchell overdosed or we think she's overdosed so eyelashes I don't overdo it on this look because I don't want to look too heavy. Just enough to lift up out of the way. And this is the Rimmel, and this is this extra super lash. Um, I use a very, very small amount on the bottoms just to, just to pick up literally either little tiny hairs. There we are. And that is my finished eye look. So, yeah, we'll just finish that off with a bit of um, lippy. Take my hair down so that I look like me rather than... There we go. I don't think that's too heavy at all. Quite, quite subtle. Um... I'm going to be using um, the Lip Euphora, um, and this is in Aura. I'm not going to put any lip liner on. I'm not a massive fan of lip liner. Um, I do love my lipsticks. This is gorgeous. This is Makeup Revolution. This is Makeup Revolution. <laughs> Talking like a ventriloquist again. That's such a pretty colour and I really like that with my eyes. There. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so that's my finished look with my eyes. Hope you liked it. I will list the products below that I've used. Um, got any questions, please ask away. Give me a big thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe. Also, I've still got my Soap and Glory competition at the moment that I'm doing as a giveaway. Please, please enter um, because that will be closing on the 31st of May um, and I'll be announcing the winner, fingers crossed, on the 1st of June. So please give me a big thumbs up and I'll hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.